threat to Ukraine's port infrastructure remains following Erdogan-Putin talks, since the presidents of Turkey and Russia have failed to reach an agreement on the revival of the Black Sea Grain Initiative, the threat to the port and civil infrastructure of Ukraine remains relevant. That's according to Natalia Humeniuk, the press officer for Operational Command South of Ukrainian Army. Unfortunately, this practice and the conclusions of analysts are correct. When Russia sees no success in any direction of their efforts, they resort to such fire terror. We monitored their activities and preparatory work ahead of that important meeting. We saw a powerful overnight attack in two waves in the south of the Odessa region. It sent a clear message in the appropriate direction where the grain corridor functions, which is an irritant for the dictator. That is why we state the fact that there remains a threat to the port and civil infrastructure, as well as grain, as the enemy did not get what they wanted, Humeniuk said. As reported earlier on September the 4th, the presidents of Turkey and Russia failed to reach an agreement at a meeting in Sochi regarding Moscow's fulfillment of the terms of the Black Sea Grain Initiative and the agreement's revival. Before meeting of presidents, Russia launched a drone attack on Ukraine's Danube river port of Ismail, causing widespread damage to infrastructure. The Danube has become Ukraine's main route for exporting grain since July, when Russia quit a UN and Turkey broker deal that had given safe passage to Kyiv's exports of grains, oil seeds and vegetable oils via the Black Sea.